Hello everyone, uh, I am Mahesh and today I am going to explain you how do we create a grid style project uh, along with your test ng integration with your selenium plus your uh, Jenkins. Now what I did here, I do have very sample project here. I have created one sample uh, test ng integration project. In this project, if you can see, uh, I do have one source folder. Within the source folder, I have a package where I do have a class A, that is one pack, uh, one class, a test ng class. I do have a sample class. In the sample class, I do have this is a parent. So where we do have only two methods, before method and after method. Now when I go back here and class A, if you can see, I do have a single test case here where I do have my uh, this opening uh, my Chrome browser. I maximize the browser. I'm opening my application under test. Then I simply sending uh, automated script as a one of the element in my uh, uh, URL. Okay, and then I can simply close that driver. So this is a very basic test where uh, I do have this uh, before and after method. So if I execute this code, definitely before method will execute before each test, and after method will execute after each act test. So let me execute this test first so that you can find out the output of this execution. Let me see if you can run this code. It will surely open your Selenium uh, your Chrome driver along with your URL. And then it will enter automated script into that in the URL in the username. Let's say it's maximize. Then it takes enter. So let me see if it is printing everything. Yes, successfully and my test is passed. So let's say currently I executed the test from a normal test case from that means a test class. Now let's consider in the Jenkins most of the time we do have a regression suit. Now when we do have the regression suit, every time in the regression suit what happened, we need uh, uh, multiple uh, test classes and those we are executing from one single uh, test ng dot uh, suit. Okay, so now let's execute the same test which we have executed from the class. Now we can execute it from test ng dot XML. In my XML I have given the package name dot class name. So if I can run this class, it should execute the same and it should give me the same output. So let me run this uh, XML dot test ng dot XML. I simply right click run as and test ng dot suit. So let's say once it's execute, it should open um, uh, the browser and it should maximize, enter the URL and enter automated script within the username and then it's done. So that is what the expectation now, as of now yes so we can just simply see if it's perfectly executed yes it is also perfectly executed so as of now i have executed from my test ng test uh, uh, test ng class and then test ng dot xml now what i want to do is i want to execute this from the batch file so let me explain you first what is a batch file and then we can proceed with there now I can go back to my folder where I do have this uh, sample test ng dot uh, integration this project. If you can see I have created one test ng dot bat. Let me open that and first of all let me tell you what is a batch file. So batch file is your script file always and it is all used previously in DOS and nowadays in Microsoft Windows 2. It consists of series of commands uh, that could be executed by command line interpreter and it's stored in the plain text file and then we can simply store that using a dot bat file. Okay, so that is that will execute all things that you can perform from your uh, CMD that is from your command line same can you can execute multiple commands or series of commands from this dot batch file now. Now if you can see here I simply say set my project location to the whatever the path that I do have here this is my path of my project location I simply set it here I say CD that means the change directory from command line I simply give in that project location then I said set my class path when I say class path class path is separately nothing but uh, where I do have my dot class files which I need to execute and I do need my library files that means whichever the reference library that means my jars all those are required which I have set here as a class path now if you can uh, see I have already set my test ng dot xml which execute my that class so I simply said run my that test ng dot xml from this location and then I said pause that means once I executed my command prompt then I can simply see whether it is executed correctly or not that is what I wanted to see it here now okay so once I can execute I can see all the output which uh, which is performed from the command prompt now now let me close this file and I simply click here double click on this test ng dot bat and it is if you can see here it is saying set this location which we have set it there and then it said cd that location and then we set the class path here 
and once it sets the class path it uh, triggers my test ng.xml and then it is executing all those things what we can see from my eclipse command prompt or console i can see the same output here in my command prompt and i have executed from my test ng.bat so very simple guys uh, what i have executed you can simply saw that output from here and now uh, i'll simply run my code base okay guys so now what is my uh, uh, further objective is that whatever job file that currently i show you that i have executed from my uh, double click on that batch file now i wanted to execute the same batch file from my jenkins job because i wanted to execute the test ng.xml or i wanted to trigger that test ng.xml from the jenkins now this is what i do have my jenkins logged in i show my in my previous video how to install the jenkins how to set up the password how to add the add-ins to the jenkins and how to log in with your admin password in the jenkins itself so now i'm going to show you how to create your first freestyle project now first of all the question comes what is the freestyle means so freestyle means you are imp uh, improvised or unrestricted a freestyle project in jenkins is a project that spans multiple operations it can be built a scripts and uh, it will run the scripts or even a pipeline according to the official jenkins uh, wiki a freestyle project is a typical build jobs or task this could be as simple as running test, building or packaging an application, sending a report or even running some commands. And now before any test are run, data is collated. This is, can be also done by Jenkins and Jenkins collects data through multiple ways depending on what is being achieved and purpose of that data in a question. Now let's try to set up a freestyle project using Jenkins and you need to first ensure that you have the Jenkins up and running and that that you uh, you are authenticated as an admin and to set up a freestyle project follow the steps which i am going to showcase you now now open your main dashboard which I, which we have uh, seen here that is my open dashboard here now now let's say i want to show you how to create your first freestyle project so i am going to create on my dashboard currently and i am clicking on new here i am going to select here let's say jenkins selenium integration okay so i'll write here jenkins selenium integration i select this freestyle project and i simply click here on ok once i click on ok it is redirecting me to this multiple tabs here now what uh, jenkins did after creating my first uh, uh, i mean job then it redirects me to the project configuration view and if you can see here there are multiple tabs like general source code management build triggers build environment build and post build uh, ads now in the general you can see all those uh, multiple tabs here but let me explain you one by one so if you can see source code management here you will take a look at uh, all the content step by step and that will be hold your none or either the git you can hold something from the git repository also um, uh, for your current source code management okay and uh, that is nothing but your version control host so that means uh, if your code is hosted on github or any other web based repository you can add the repository details and jenkins will clone it now let's get back to examining you know, what the rest of the tabs in the project configuration view do like your build triggers will do uh, to trigger any of your build either periodically either github hook trigger either build after any projects are built these are also you can do now the build environment you can always select the environment from where uh, you, know, you can push the uh, github or your code base or your pipeline okay those are all your build environment right now now i do have another tab like build and post build action in the build i can select from where i need to build like from my command prompt from the shell script from the ant or the gradle script same way about the post build action after my completion if i wanted to do any email notification or if i wanted to build other projects after completion uh, completing of my first build that is all the provisions are available within my current uh, jenkins uh, job now let me create the new jobs which I, what i am going to do is i am going to give the description like this is a job to execute test ng xml using a batch file okay this is just my description for current uh, job now after my description set i want to set the project location so i go back here on the advanced tab in the advanced tab if you can see i am going to use my uh, custom workspace so what is my workspace so my workspace is the location where i do have all my test ng dot pad so i simply copy that i simply paste it here now once i give in my workspace then what i need to do i want to show you a simple uh, uh, 
we triggered this project. So what I can say, I wanted to build what? I wanted to build my testng.xml from this location, uh, testng.bat from this location. So I simply, I simply copy this, uh, uh, the file name dot bat here. And I simply said apply and I simply said save. Done. For this. Now currently it is holding my das job, uh, the freestyle project job uh, dashboard. Now if you can see here the build now, I simply click on this build now and it is scheduled and started my first build for this particular uh, Jenkins job. So it should show me the same output what we can see from the batch file or what we can say is see for on your testng.xml or your testng class. So our expectation that it should again do the same operation what we have done from the previous uh, jobs itself. So once it uh, complete your execution, you can see here the success uh, as an icon and I simply click here and I can see the output in my uh, uh, console of Jenkins. If you can see the same output, I can see here that Chrome has successfully started and entered the user successfully and we are in after. The same output, what we can see from our uh, 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 the Eclipse, the same output we can see from here. So as of now for today, I can hold uh, this session only to do this freestyle project and integration. I will schedule some more uh, uh, the pipeline and other operations on the Jenkins along with the TestNG and Selenium. I'm sure this Jenkins implementation along with TestNG and Selenium will help you to kickstart Jenkins implementation within your current project. Also, it will help you to answer Jenkins question in interview. I would encourage you to please provide your comments, either it's positive or negative, so that it will help me in making my next video more relevant and useful for you. Thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel.